Hi everyone, this is Terry. In the last video I recorded, I showed how to use the overlap tool and to cut out or remove the overlap of the name Cassie on the dog bone. And what I want to show you now is how to save this file and how to open it up in your software. If you notice that I have a cutting line attached to this, so whenever I selected this, I selected that I wanted it to be cutting. I could cho have chosen cutting and drawing, and I chose apply. Now when I want to send this to my machine, I can send it directly to a scan and cut machine. If I have it attached, I don't. But I, if I want to send it to another machine or if I want to save it, I can export it as an SVG file. And here I would name it. I've already done that. You see Cassie, Cassie with Bone, and I would type that name and choose Save. Or I can export it as an FCM file, and this would be for the scanning cut. And I would name it and Save. I've already done that. The last option I have under export is to export an image. When you export an image, you have a choice between a bitmap, a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF. I happen to have chosen a PNG file. I named it and I chose save. That is a raster file. So if you have a raster file, you're going to have to import it into your software and trace around it to get cut lines. Your first choice would always be a vector file such as the FCM file or the SVG file. Okay, so now that I'm done here in my BES4 with Power Pack 2, I want to go into Canvas Workspace. And I've already opened up a file here, but let me delete it and show you how to do it again. You go right here into SVG. This is where you import SVGs, DXF, and FCM files. You choose the file format that you want. And I'm going to open the SVG file first because I want to show you that it has an issue. When you open the SVG file, and actually this doesn't have an issue, Sometimes when you open this file, you will not see the view with your cutting lines. And I just turned it off so you can see that. You don't see the cutting line for the letter C. If that happens to you, go to View and choose Show Only Cutting Lines or Show Only Drawing Lines so that you can see those lines and see if the cuts or the drawing lines are there. So the SVG file was able to open without any problems. We'll go ahead and delete it, and this time we'll choose the FCM file, and we'll choose open, and here's the FCM. So this, these will be the cutting lines that go to your scan and cut. Now let's go to Cricut Design Space. Right now we're looking at the mat on Cricut Design Space. Let me go back a step and show you a couple of things. Whenever you have something like this that has letters and has these objects that are laying out here in the center of a design, such as the center of the A, the S, and the E, you will need to select everything and make sure that you have selected attached. Right now, I've already done it, so it, it, I had to select detach. Let me, let me show you what happens whenever you don't attach it. I, I will go and choose make it. <clears throat> and you can see all these little pieces because Cricut tries to save the vinyl by lining everything up. I want to go back and correct this, and to correct it, what I'll do is I'll choose Select It All and choose Attach. This time when I choose Make It, 
I will see that everything's lined up as it should be. I'll cut my vinyl, I'll weed it, and then I'll take a piece of transfer tape and put it over the bone and all of the letters to keep everything intact. Let me show you how I imported that file. We'll go ahead and delete it from the screen and you choose upload file. When you upload, you can upload images of these types and you'll choose upload file, you'll choose browse and you'll go to wherever that file is located on, on your system and choose the file that you want to upload and choose open. Once this opens, you have the ability to enter a tag and this is good because you could for instance, if you were making these all for a specific person, you could put their name here, and that way you could look at everything you'd made for that person and locate it that way. I've already opened and uploaded this image. When you do, you'll click Save. But since I've already uploaded, let me back up a step, and we'll back up again. You can see it right here. When you've uploaded an image, all you have to do is select it, and choose insert image. Now it's on the screen. Cricut recently made changes to their software. So it may look different if you're a Cricut user and you haven't used it for a while. I recommend that you go and you look at some of the videos that are out there showing you the changes. One of the things you'll notice with the, the layers, you don't see the color chips here. They're now right here. And the other thing is in order to change between a cut line, a draw, or a score, you select right here. And there are some other things that have changed as well. It's not my intention to show you how to use everything on the software, but I do hope that you will see that by using the, the functionality that's in BES4, I can save this design and import it into other software packages and use it. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them and share them with a friend. Thank you and have a good day.